Hi there, my name is Jana and I'm a member of the Data Schools 29 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use new Tableau line patterns. So let's jump right in Tableau and get started. Line patterns is a new formatting feature available in Tableau 2023.2 and later versions. This pattern allows you effortlessly highlight specific areas of interest within your visualizations. I've already built a trend line with a continuous month in the column and a sales, profit and quantity in row shelves. As it was the only option for previous version, by default Tableau create a solid line pattern, which is simply a continuous line. On the mark shelf, click profit, select pass, and under line pattern section, select solid, dashed or dotted pattern. Let's create for profit dashed and for quantity dotted. That's how new patterns looks like. And now let's have a look at two use cases. Some great use cases for different light patterns will be for comparison of value to another value, sales and profit, for example, a target or to average. Let's create a chart where we compare 2022 sales and 2021. I've already created calculations to return 2022 and 2021 sales. Let's click on sales 2021. The calculation is if year of order date equal 2021, then return sales and absolutely the same for the 2022 as well. Now drag both measures to the row shelves and discrete months to the columns. Right click on one of the measures and select dual axis. Right click on the axis and then synchronize axis. Now if we change the pattern for the 2021 sales for dashed we can easily compare sales between the years. The second use case will give you an idea of how to use line patterns to highlight the current months in the overtime trend. Often happens that the current month's line shows a big drop because of start or middle of the month. Let's create a view that prevents users from worrying and makes it clear for them. I already had the calculations done. The first calculation called date filters this calculation is aimed to filter out future dates from data and bring only the current year the calculation said that order date less than equal today today is the function which return the current date and the year of order date equal the year of today function click OK Bring this calculation to the filter shelf and click true. The next calculation give us all months sales for this year. Which means if the months of order date less than equal the months of today, then return sales. And another calculation excluded the current months. If months of order dates less than months of today, I mean current months, then sales and click OK and bring continuous months of order dates to the column shelf. And this to measures to the row shelf. Right click on one of the measures and click dual axis. Right click on the axis and synchronize axis. Change colors for measures to be the same. Okay. And select dashed button for all month sales. This made the current months look more 
eye-catching. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident using line patterns. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find useful. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to video we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.